Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope your first four days of October have gone well. <laughs> I hope you're ready for Songs with Mr. Levi. Here we go. Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I'm so excited to see you guys this morning. As you can see, I'm in a little bit of a different spot right now because Miss Rachel and I are moving to a new house. And so I've got boxes and stuff everywhere. So I'm doing it at our fellowship office right now. But we're still going to do two songs of worship, and I'm so excited to do that with you guys this morning. The first song we're going to do is a song that we've done before. It's called Psalms 3418. This is a great way to memorize new scripture verses, but we've done this before, so I know a lot of you guys know this song. So y'all just sing along. Y'all ready? Such a fun song. I can't wait to do this one. I've been saving this one for this week. I was really excited about it. Here we go. Spirit, the Lord is the most to the broken hearted. Psalms 34, 18. That song is so wonderful because not only is it a beautiful song, but it is a beautiful, beautiful verse. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Guys, when you're going through a hard time and your heart hurts and you've got a broken heart and there's a lot going on in your life, you know that verse tells us the Lord is with you. And the Bible talks about it all the time, how the Lord is with you wherever you go. If you trust and you believe that he is God, true, the true, true, one and only God and the Savior and the Savior of your life and your soul and the forgiver of sins, He will be with you wherever you go. How amazing is that? That's such good news. Oh, so good. We're going to follow that song up with another song that I love, 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 love. It's called How He Loves. This is about the love of Jesus and the love of God. And we're gonna, you'll, you, we've sung this song before. You guys are gonna hear all these words. They're beautiful, beautiful words. So y'all just sing along. No hand motions to this one, just singing. Y'all ready? Like a hurricane, I am a tree bending. 
love getting to sing with you this morning. Let's sing that again, guys. about this last time we sang this song, but when it says, if grace is an ocean, we're all sinking. Guys, do you guys know what grace is? Grace, another way of saying grace, it's undeserved favor. Guys, we are so sinful, and God gave us a place in the Garden of Eden, and we sinned, and we do such bad things, and we turned away from God, and God still loves us and cares for us and wants what's best for us. We don't deserve his love, but he gives it to us anyway. How amazing is that? We have so much grace from him for no good reason. We don't deserve it, but he gives it to us anyway. How beautiful is that? Guys, thank you for singing with, with me this morning in this, in this new place. Hopefully next time I'll have my old space back and we can start. You'll see some familiar backgrounds. Guys, I love you guys. Y'all are amazing. Keep washing those hands, and I'll see you guys real soon. Love you guys. Bye. Mary and Joseph's baby, God's own son, was a few days old when Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, just like the angel had told them to do. When Jesus was a few weeks old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph wanted to obey God and his law. The law that God gave Moses said, when a woman's first son is born, his parents must dedicate him to the Lord. The law also said, that the child's parents should give a sacrifice. At the temple, Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the Lord and offered two birds as a sacrifice. Another man was at the temple. His name was Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he trusted in God's promise to send a Messiah to save people from sin. 
God's spirit was with Simeon, and God had told Simeon that he would not die until he saw the one who would rescue people from their sin. That day, God's spirit had led Simeon to the temple. Simeon saw Jesus and picked him up in his arms. God's spirit showed Simeon that Jesus was the promised Messiah. Simeon was so happy. He praised God and said, Lord, you can let me die now. You kept your promise, and I have seen the one who will save people from sin. Simeon said that Jesus would save God's people, the Israelites, and Jesus would also save people from other nations. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what Simeon said. Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph. He told Mary that being Jesus' mother would be a very good thing, but it would also be very hard. Some people would love Jesus, but others would hate him. Things were going to happen that would make Mary very sad. A woman named Anna was at the temple too. Anna's husband had died and Anna was very old. She stayed at the temple and worshiped God all the time. Anna came up to Simeon, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and she began to thank God. Anna talked about Jesus to people who were waiting for God to keep his promise to send a savior. She told them the good news. The savior was here. <laughs> Mary and Joseph finished dedicating Jesus and making sacrifices to God. They obeyed God's law. Then they went back home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up and was strong and healthy. He was wise and God was happy with him. Throughout the Old Testament, God promised the arrival of a king who would redeem people. When Jesus arrived, Simeon and Anna knew he was the promised Messiah. Today, we have faith that Jesus is God's son. We can trust Jesus for our salvation, and like Simeon and Anna, we should share the good news. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Um, what a cool thought to think of the creator of the universe in this tiny little body as a child being brought to church where his mom and dad said, we're gonna know, raise him to know God and to learn his word and we commit him to God. And the people around them knew how special that was. And even at our church, when we do a dedication, we know how special it is for parents and for the church to commit to teaching you guys about Jesus and teaching about his ways. But Simeon, most of all, him and Anna got to stand with Jesus knowing that he was the Savior and knowing that this was no ordinary dedication, that he had come, was dedicated to God and to God's biggest plan to save us. What an amazing experience that had to have been for them. Guys, I'm so thankful that I get to be a part of your church life and get to walk alongside you as you grow from babies, and get bigger and bigger and bigger until one day most of you will probably be taller than me and I get to watch you learn about Jesus. It's a privilege to be in this position and I hope that you guys get to watch that with the kids younger than you. Guys, I miss you, I hope you have wonderful weeks and I hope school is going so well. I'll see you soon.